see how it's blinking? Let me stop. So there we go. Okay. You ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Hey guys, Christy Keeler. Today I'm here at the Grags outside in Northwest Arkansas. So John, I'll let you introduce yourself a little bit. Hi, I'm John Gregg and uh, me and my wife Stacy, we raise a few beef cattle out here north of Lincoln. And we've always, uh, usually uh, we'd wean our kids and, and feed them for a while. And because uh, we kind of like to time the market and not sell when everybody else is selling and so on. So we just uh, never ever before actually knew if he's making any money or not. So whenever we got involved with the co-op and Perina Farms, we actually went to the research farm and found out about Perina Plus, and we wanted to take advantage of it and at least try it and see how it worked. And uh, them teaming up together and helping us, we uh, we were able to know what we're doing now. We weigh our cattle each um, ever when we wean them, every 21 days, and it's sale time. And so we uh, keep track of how much feed we feed, and she gives us advice on uh, how we need to uh, adjust our feed. And we also, uh, we wean and uh, vaccinate them under their protocols, which uh, has really helped our sickness. We seem to be getting our calves started a lot quicker eating. Uh, we always seem like some struggled. Whenever they did come to the feed trough, or wean and come into the feed trough, they've done a lot of balling and stuff, and we've just been able to, uh, notice a big difference on using their <clears throat> weaning feeds and getting them started right. And we've also noticed that we gain weight in that first 21 days where I know I don't think we were before, but we do know now that we are and they are getting started right. Uh, we've, they've kept up with it and we know what we're gaining per day and how much money we're making. We go back and look at the markets in the past. They've, um, We've been fortunate each time the market has got it, gotten better as we did have them weaned. And we have weaned ours from as low as 44 days up to uh, 115. So during the winter, whenever things are slowed down, we ain't baling hay and this, that, and the other, we, um, we got more time. So we do, and if we ha have the hay, we hold them, we feed them a little longer that way. And I feel like we really are um, do once they get to that, seems like that 60 days, we still really start gaining weight and start doing very well then. And that way we can kind of sell them at uh, one of their wean back sales and uh, the local livestock auction that we're using, they, uh, they honor that program. So we uh, enjoy doing it this way. I enjoy the, the whole feeding out the calf. I kind of see what our calves are doing once they are pulled off the cow. And so I think that helps me be better at, uh, we are all the time trying to improve our genetics, save better heifers, uh, buy better heifers, buy better bulls. That's the main thing that we've noticed, uh, get the consistent and get our cows bred back good. So we're, our, our uh, wean weights are tighter. And it's just, uh, it's, been, it's been helping us a lot. Um, another thing I feel like, by weaning our kids, we are actually helping that next level they go to. Because they, a calf is already stressed because you're pulling him off his mama at that time. And if you haul him to a cell barn, he hauls, it's maybe three or four days before he makes it to where he's going to be. And by this, we get them in the pen. And probably I'd say half the time they're already settled down, eating better, gaining better. And so the next level, it should help that buyer and uh, it's just better for the whole industry, I think. And well, that's the uh, main thing that I like about weaning our cats. I sure like being teamed with Perina Plus and uh, our local co-op because uh, they've been really good about helping us. They, uh, they make our co feed cost effective because uh, they're always watching the grain markets and adjusting feed to keep, it, keep the feed cost at a, as minimal level as they can. We are able to, um, usually book our feed and uh, it sure helps know what we're going to have in a cap before we actually sell him. And that's uh, been the biggest thing I've noticed about that is just uh, knowing what's going to happen, where we're going to be at whenever we do get ready to sell these calves. Um, Chris, do you have any questions? John, I mean, you did a great job and I really appreciate it. So you guys went to the research farm in 21, mm -hmm. 21 yep. came back, 
you got to see the technology and get exposed to yeah. what we do up mm -hmm. there at the farm and every set of kids since then and yep. it's been a pleasure to work with you and stacy and you know i think you hit everything on that nail right is that You've been doing it, yeah. but you weren't tracking that for right. yeah. And then, you know, I come through and I give you some clothes out. We look at them at day zero, day 21. If you're holding them to that 115 days, we kind of did a catch weight in between there. We um, talked about how do we increase the, the feed to help those calves gain mm -hmm. and where do you want to hit in the market? And, you know, it's been a pleasure to partner with you guys. Thank and you. I appreciate the partnership back. And I know the co-op does too. So, uh, just been it's been an honor to be yeah. able to work with you guys well, I, that's one thing about i'd say for the research farm by going up there and seeing firsthand what does happen it's not just a guessing game there's real there's real research that goes behind and if it ain't cost effective they drop the whole project from what i've seen and uh, so if they don't make money they ain't going to do it and or if it's not cost effective and if it's uh uh but whenever it is, they get out there and they share the knowledge and, and pass it on and help us. And and uh, so that's all I can really say about that part. Oh, that's great. So, John, I think yeah, for me. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. I was like, I didn't even need to coach him. I didn't even need to be in there. I just.